So here's what you get in the actual kit. You've got your left hand and your right hand fixings. Uh, some alcohol wipes there for cleaning the sides. And your actual three drawers. Um, just one thing to note on here is the little hooks there which clip into the back of the drawers. They face upwards in the vehicle. So this is your left hand one. That's your right hand one. And just another little tip. If you find the drawers are hard to clip into the runners, just bend this little hook up slightly and you'll find that the actual drawer fits in much better. There you go, that's what you actually get with the kit. Just one small tip when you're actually popping the drawers onto the runners. Um, if you find that the drawers are stiff, I've already mentioned obviously just move that hook slightly there. Um, but if you find they're still stiff, rather than putting the pressure on the whole hole fixing when you when you're pushing the drawer in, you get one hand behind the back of the runner to hold it while you're pushing the drawer in with the other. Just a slight tip we've found as we're putting them into the van. Okay, first job is to remove the shelves from your cupboard and then just remove the top drawer um, so you can line the brackets up. So removing the top drawer, there's some handles underneath, some trigger grips, pull them towards you, lift the drawer up slightly and then a little bit of a tug and then it comes and you can see the factory runners there. Okay, uh, using the alcohol wipes, just clean down both sides of the existing cupboards just so it's free from dirt and grease um, and then we can begin to line the brackets up. Right, so I have got the left hand bracket um, and after you've cleaned the sides down what we're actually trying to do with the left hand bracket is this runner here, so not the rail itself, but the runner here, you're lining it up with the original VW runner there. Um, now there is a little bit of room for manoeuvre um, in terms of the drawer does not go right to the back of the cupboard. So if you are a little bit concerned, you could push this back a few mil, um, but in honesty, I would line it up with the original one because we know that works. And if needs be, just put a couple of pencil marks on. So when you do take this self adhesive backing off, then it's, you know it's going to be in the right place. But yes, in, in terms of lining it up, line it up with the original VW runner, using a straight edge if necessary. Uh, we've managed it by eye, but if you want to use a straight edge and be really accurate, then uh, feel free. Yep, okay, so I've marked up where the um, brackets are going to go so a little bit of pen top and bottom and um, so we'll peel the self adhesive back in off the back of the brackets line it up with the markings Okay, as you can see, I've marked the um, where the runners are going to go, top and bottom. Again, aligning the end of the runners with the end of the factory runner, so I know the doors are going to shut okay. Um, so we'll stick that side in. Again, making sure the hooks face upward. Is that side so we'll just grab the camera so as you can see the runners there are in line with the top runners right let's put the drawers in so actually putting the drawers in um, when the brackets are manufactured the we measure from the top of the bracket down to the top of the first runner eight centimeters top of the second rocket runner 20.5 centimeters and the bottom of the third runner, 33.5 centimetres. So let's put the drawers in and we'll see if they line up. In terms of putting the drawers in, it's easier to work from the bottom up and then finally put the last one in. Um, so basically get the drawer, lining up with these two runners and you've got two recesses that match these underneath the drawer. So pop the first one in. Obviously my drawers are full of items. Pop, 
pop the first one in, slightly lift the front, push it into the hooks at the back, and then just put your hand down the back, make sure the hooks are pushed right in. That one is. And that one is, just make sure it fits in at the front. Yep, so that's that one done. Second, same thing. So again, the recesses are going onto these two runners there. Slightly lifting the front up. You can feel it start to slide in on the recesses. Again, lifting the front. Put your hand down the back and push the runner in to the back of the drawer. Same with that side, make sure the front's in. That's number two done. slides onto the runners, lifting the front up, and then just make sure at the back, you can feel the little tangs at the back, make sure they're pushed in correctly, and there you go. So obviously we can put that factory drawer back in, same method, lifting it up slightly, a little bit click, that's the factory drawer in. So a little, little bit of adjustment needed, it's a little bit high that side, so if you do need to make some adjustments, the, the fully adjustable on the rail, just pull the push the trigger mechanism in at the front, pull it up, pull it towards you back out of the hooks. And as you can see there, Allen key bolt, just loosen that off, and then these will slide up and down the rail to make some adjustments. Even if you want to have a small bit of clearance between the bottom two drawers and a bigger bit of clearance on the top drawer. Might have some bigger pans to go in there, I and mean, these are totally adjustable. The markings we put on are just that we've found is pretty much level and they're all equal. But like I say, if you want to make some adjustments, it's entirely up to you. Any questions, give us a ring on 01246 912 712 option 2. Thank you.